It's a new year, and once again, say hello to a new round of Lay's Potato Chip Flavors! First up on the bench, Beer and Brats! Mixing the light, salty taste of everyone's favorite chip with America's favorite pastime! Combining the burny, barbecue taste of German Bratwurst with the barley goodness of a fresh cold one! Beer and Brats are sure to make any time barbecue time! Wow, Jello, you're chiming in a whole lot lately! What's your beef this time? Consistent? What do you mean, consistent? Blame AdSense. I was monetizing Limbo Grub for a few months, something changed, and now I'm not. My computer freezes every time I try to use AdSense. The whole system is a POS. I am? Did I do it just now? I'm sorry, Tyrion. I didn't mean to confuse you. Your name is officially Tyrion. I'm just struggling a bit with the change. It's like, when the year changes from 2016 to 2017, you have to get used to writing the new number. Yeah, that's the same basic deal. I am not struggling with my own name, that's ridiculous! So, this is your good buddy- I just got a pancake! I'm wishing you a very ha- So, this is your good buddy- I'm saying until next time- Oh, shoot. So, this is your good buddy- DJ. Damn, Tyrion, I had no idea you were such a whiz at video alteration. I never said those things! You can't prove it! Shut up! Anyway, this is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake603 once again, looking at a very, very weird... Like, I do the potato chips often. I, every, anytime a new flavor of potato chip comes out, I, I feel like I'm almost required to do it for the show. But, um... When we think about barbecuing, what do we think? Hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue chicken, ribs, steaks, sometimes husks of corn. Brats. Brats are the new fascination, and why? Bratwurst has been around since... God, before I was born. Who knows how long bratwurst dates back to? But I know it's always been around. It's always been a thing. Why all of a sudden are brats, like, they even... They even Shorten the word to make it all more more marketable. Brats, why are they popular now? For money, that's all it is. Because somebody, it's just like the thing I said about the bacon before. It's just somebody just decided, hey, you know what? People aren't eating enough of this. We need to try to corner a market on this stuff and make it seem, hey, new and exciting to all the people out there, and everyone's going to eat it. And you know what? People eat it. They developed a taste for it. There are a lot of people who really love it. And there's a lot of people who eat it just to eat it, because that's the thing you do in a barbecue. You eat brats. Brats, if you don't know, are a German type of sausage, um, oftentimes made with pork, but sometimes it had like veal in it and stuff like that. Um, they're a little bit different than your normal sausage, especially in color. I noticed that brats have a little bit more of a gray tint to them. Um, normal sausages are usually a little bit more pink. Um, but bratwursts, they do have a very unique taste. I don't see why or what the appeal would be to put them in a Lay's potato chip, but I guess it hasn't been done before, and I guess it goes back to, to barbecues, and, you know, these were things that people weren't normally eating for barbecues. When somebody throws brats on their, on their grill, everyone's like, wow, something unique and different, it's, it's a change, yay, all we want is something different. But this is not just brats, but they're, they're, they're talking my language here. Beer and brats. Now, how are you going to put the taste of beer into a potato chip? I have no idea. I mean, I can understand a little bit more putting the taste of beer into like a jelly bean or like ice cream, stuff like that. Like, like either colder things or like candy things, but this is a dry, oily snack. How is that going to taste with a beer flavor to it? Well, maybe it's like a, like a beer batter, like kind of like, like, you know, like sometimes you have fish sticks or like chicken that's beer battered, shrimp often is beer battered, and it doesn't taste like beer. It's just, you know, there was beer like in the ingredients somewhere. Um, let me take a whiff of this. I'll let you know what I think. It smells just like a regular potato chip. Of course, it has the propensity to be a yucker yum. My first yucker yum on the show. Yucker yum. <laughs> I really love that. I I'm so glad Asher Mouse told that to me. I'm like fascinated with that term. But um, this is a beer and brat potato chip. You might look at it, you see all the, the nooks and crannies. It's not kettle cooked, is it? No, it's just a regular 
potato chip, but oh look! Look at this on the top! Win one million dollars! Do us a flavor! It's coming back! It's not here officially yet. I guess this is just here to whet people's appetites and get their, uh, their, you know, their thinking caps on. Um, but yeah, that might mean I might have to do another long half hour special tasting all the, uh, the finalists. But, um, anyway, here's the precursor. Will beer and brats potato chips be my new obsession? We'll see. different. It's got sort of a meat taste to it, but it's more of a spice than a meat taste. I'm thinking the only difference between this and a normal potato chips are these tiny, tiny little specks on here. They probably just took a regular, you know, run-of-the-mill potato chip and just put some kind of weird flavored spice on there. I don't know. Does it taste like a brat? I don't think so. In fact, this doesn't taste like beer nor brat. Um, it definitely tastes good. Um, it would taste good with um, like some sour cream on it or like, um, you know, some kind of dip, like whatever you, you dip like a potato chip in, like, like garlic dip or some, something like that. It's very, very good. I'm not going to knock it too much, but Honestly, it's more bland than watching the cremation of Harambe the gorilla to Christmas music. You know, that actually happened. It was called the Yule Ape. You know, when you really do concentrate on it, you can get a hint of beer taste out of this. But, I don't know. I, I don't think it's anything really to, to crow over. So if I were to give this a star rating, I'm really wrestling with that two and a half star range because it's bland, but as a potato chip, it tastes good. You know what? I'll give it three stars. Why not? Because there is a certain degree, like if you really just think about what you're eating, you really have to think to get that beer flavor. The brat flavor is, it's gone. I have no idea what they were thinking. There, there's no brat flavor in this whatsoever. Um, but I'd like to see them try again. Like, maybe you sell all of these, like everything you have out on the market right now, sell them and then fiddle with the formula a little bit because I want to know what this tastes like out of curiosity. Not because I love brats, because I have a feeling a lot of people who say they love brats don't love brats because they're eating it because it's the, the cool thing to do nowadays at a barbecue. It's just as common nowadays in a burger or a hot dog. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll eat a brat just, you know, just to be festive and, you know, just to be part of the moment, but you know what? These were okay for what they were. They, they merely qualify as okay. They're not yuck. They're not yum. They're not yuck or yum. Yuck or yum. You know what? I really, really do love that. I mean, maybe, maybe that would make a good title. Your word does not matter, Jello. This is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying until next time, where I once again ask that question, is it yuck, is it yum, or is it, you guessed it, yuck or yum! <laughs>